Okay, welcome back to Midnight Tutor. We have a problem that was sent to us via email. It involves Word, a Word problem, and derivatives, I believe, although we'll have to look at it to see exactly what it involves. We have not gotten very many requests. Please, if you have any problems you're having a hard time solving, please send them to us via email, solve at midnighttutor.com. Okay, so this is the statement of this problem. We have sand being dumped at a rate of 60 cubic feet per minute. And the question is, how fast is the height increasing when the sand pile is 10 feet high? And oh, by the way, the base of the pile of sand is twice the height. So now we have to use our structured approach in order to try to analyze this word problem and then figure out how we're actually going to go about solving it. My recommendation is to use the same process to solve every problem. It may look like it takes a few additional calories in writing and so on and so forth, but in the end, your success rate will be much higher. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to analyze what do we know? What are the facts that we're given? And I know that we're given sand being dumped at this rate, 60 cubic feet per minute. And I know that the base of the pile is twice the height, right? So it's a conical pile of sand. The base, if this is the height, h, then the base here is going to be twice that. And I'm also then asked to find the answer of how fast is height increasing when the sand pile is 10 feet. So we're going to say sand pile 10 feet. And then how fast is it increasing? So this is sort of a restatement of the problem in sort of a given mentality. And then the find, which is the answer. Now in any of these problems, there are a lot of things that you could calculate. And there are a lot of things you could spend your effort trying to figure out. Some of them may lead you to answering the actual question. Some of them may not. But at the end of the day, all you want to do is answer the question. So the least amount of work in order to make that happen, the better. Having stated the problem in word terms, now let's go through and assign some variables and algebraic expressions where we can. Notice that 60 cubic feet per minute, 60 cubic feet is a unit of measure of a volume, right? So if I were to say let v equal volume, then this is going to be, since it's volume per minutes, volume per time, this is going to be equal to dv dt. Now it appears to be constant, right? It doesn't say that the rate that the sand is being dumped changes over time. So this is always going to be the case. Volume is the volumetric rate is not a question of time. Now, the volume is a function of time, obviously. And then we have the height. The height of the pile grows as more sand is dropped. So height is actually a function of time. And we're given a quantity 10 feet for height at some time interval. And the question is, how fast is it increasing? As soon as I see the word fast, some light bulb goes off in my head that says, now wait, this is a rate that I'm being asked for. And, right, and, and most times when there's a rate involved, the denominator is time. So it's a rate with respect to time, miles per hour, cubic feet per minute in this case. So how fast is the height increasing? What we're being asked for here is dh dt, the derivative of height with respect to time. And it's saying when it's 10 feet high. So dh dt when h equals 10. This little Notation here means evaluate dh dt when h is equal to 10. So we've outlined what we're given, what we know in terms of facts, and what we're actually asked to find. Now, does it ever ask us to calculate the height? It does not. Do we actually, in fact, have to calculate the height in order to solve this problem? Maybe, maybe not. But let's go through it and see what we can come up with. A lot of times at this point, you have to kind of play around with it a little bit. There's no given 
formula or, or given recipe that will always lead you in the right direction. But one thing we need to know is we need to know volume of a cone. And the volume of the cone is, actually, is, is one third pi r squared h. So in this case, in this case we have the, the base is twice the height, so then the radius would be the same as height. So this then becomes one third pi h squared h, which is the same as one third pi h cubed. Now we're given a dv dt value and we're asked to find a dh dt value. And h, as we described, is a function of time. So the thing that I'm going to suggest we try first is to take the derivative of this equation and then plug in these values and see what we come up with. So if I do that, I can say dv, d, dv dt, and I have to use the chain rule, is going to be dv dh times dh dt, right? Always in the chain rule you want the numerator and denominator of successive terms to cancel out. Well, dv dh is going to be the derivative of this with respect to h, which is going to be 1 third pi times 3 h squared. And dh dt, well, that's what we want to know. We don't have to put it that. That's our answer. And dv dt, we're given. So now we're in the home stretch. We have an equation that relates everything we're given to what we want to find. So let's just plug and chug. dv dt is 60. And since we have feet here and feet there, the units are consistent. I'm not going to write the units until the answer. And I have 3 and 1 third cancel, so I have pi h squared dh dt, and h squared, h was 10, so this is going to be times 10 squared dh dt. And now if I just kind of rearrange terms in my head, I've got 60 dh dt is equal to 60 divided by pi divided by 10 squared, which is 100, which is 6 over 10 pi or 3 over 5 pi. And that is the answer. Now, is it the complete answer? No, because we wanted a rate feet minute. So this is going to be feet per minute. Now I have the total answer. So to solve all these problems, I highly recommend that you always take the problem statement and recast it in your own terms according to this given and find structure. The extra time that you spend, spend writing will pay off dividends multiple times over in your ability to solve the problem. Send all your problems to solve at midnighttutor.com.